I just hate not progressing. It's like the worst feeling ever. But if you're a beginner skater or having this problem, this is the perfect video for you. My name is Sean Brown. I'm gonna give you five tips that every beginner skater should know. Before you click out of this video, if you're thinking like, oh, I'm not a beginner skater, or you know, you just like think you're too good, don't think that because all these tips are applicable to anybody of any skill level. Um, mainly if you're a good skater, because you're using these tips well. So I recommend to still watch the video just in case you're missing any tips, and make sure you watch this video to the very end because I'll have a bonus tip for you. So let's get right to the first tip. All right, so the first step I have is riding, like making sure you're comfortable riding first before really trying tricks. Um, you don't have to like learn it first before trying tricks, but make sure you're actually spending time riding your board around. Like, ride it everywhere you go. So like, go to class with it if you can. Like, if you're in college, uh, if you can skate to school, skate to school. Um, just like skate to like anywhere. Like I say, like I want to skate to a gas station or somewhere. Just skate around your neighborhood. Take like a loop around it. Do something. Cause the thing is, I see a lot of people missing this, and they're uncomfortable when they're trying tricks. I went through the same thing. Like, I'll put some clips over of the video, but. You can see like in some of the tricks like I looked really uncomfortable trying it. That's because I didn't spend that much time actually like practicing riding around my board and getting comfortable with it. So just make sure you ride a lot and wherever you go. This is just going to help you build board control and it's going to make learning tricks a whole lot easier. So definitely just make sure you ride around a lot. It's just one of those things where you just have to keep repeating it. Like repetition is key for this. So there's no secret to it. But you just got to make sure you do it a lot and like over and over and over. Okay, the second tip is to not be afraid. Like, it's gonna be like, in the beginning, it's gonna be a little scary just to try tricks, you know, cause you're afraid of falling. Like, I remember I was super scared trying to pop shove it cause I would always slip out. But honestly, just think about it. Like, it doesn't hurt too much. Like, sometimes you can get hurt, but most of the time it's not gonna hurt. You're just gonna take some like, stumbles over the way. It's just a part of skateboarding. So you gotta kinda get used to that. And just think of it like, if you fall like committing, that means you're actually closer to landing the trick. So just don't be afraid of trying any tricks. Um, don't be afraid to try anything that's a little challenging because if you push yourself further, that's how you're gonna get better. So just don't be afraid. I know like some of you can say, I'm not afraid, but like low key, everybody is at least scared of something in skateboarding. So you just gotta face your fears and then that's actually how you get better. Okay, so for the third tip, it is to set goals for yourself and you have to be realistic with those goals. So something that I did uh, before was make New Year's resolution goals. So I, would, I put a whole bunch of tricks that I think I could easily get or would challenge me just a little bit. You don't wanna put anything too challenging because it's, you're not gonna be as motivated to get. So just think of things that can like help you land new tricks or like think of things that you can easily attain because those small milestones will help you to go further. You don't want to something, set something too big because it's going to take like too much to get there. So you want to take like little steps to help you get to those big steps. One thing that I recommend is learn the tricks in order from the style of SMS1 and SMS5 because it's just like one of those things where it's easily like each step just builds onto the other. So it's like Ollie, front side 180, back side 180, pop shove it, front shove it, heel flip, kick flip. You can do the heel flip or kick flip any way you want to, it doesn't matter, like you can switch the order. And then it's varial kick flip, backside flip, varial heel, back heel, front side flip, hard flip, inward heel flip, front heel, big spin, and then tray flip. For SMS5, um, just think of it about splitting into like three different parts, so like the beginning third of it, you can do in any order you want pretty much, and then the middle part you can do any order, and then the third end you can do any order. So five, it's a little bit, you can switch it up a little bit, Make sure you learn one first and then try to do five. Uh, you don't have to, but this is a huge recommendation because it helped me a lot uh, just learning the tricks in that order. So remember, the main thing with setting goals is just make sure they're realistic so you can actually get them and so you can stay motivated uh, to do this. So actually even try this with friends too. Like Just make sure you're around friends a lot and they can even push you to help you reach your goals if you help them reach their goals. So like kind of like have it almost as a challenge and it'll help push you further. Okay, so this next tip is really, really important. I still have problems with it. 
it is to make sure you land your tricks more than once because this builds consistency so i would try like at least like hard tricks for me they weren't necessarily hard but i would only land it once and i just wouldn't come back to it this actually happened when i did a kickflip i landed my kickflip got so hyped and i was just like you know i don't know what was going through my mind but i didn't want to land another one and then when i tried to do it again i just sucked at it so you got to make sure once something clicks you got to keep doing it over and over again because this is going to help you get it consistent also this like kind of goes into you can go basically into anything so if you're getting park tricks down and street tricks down keep doing them like keep doing other street tricks and other park tricks and building upon your progression um because the really repetition is key in skateboarding that's really all it is it's all just repetition so just make sure you keep practicing with what you're doing and land the trick more than once i'm, I'm telling you that's like super important because you're gonna lose it if you don't try them because i actually lost some of my tricks because i haven't done them in a while but i'm actually trying to work on that trying to get some tricks back so just make sure you do that because that was my problem if you like do them more than once or just try to do them every day then you won't lose them and for the fifth final tip is to stay well-rounded and what i mean by this is just make sure you like try a variety of tricks it's like you have flat ground you can skate park you can skate street you can skate transition just make sure you're well-rounded because i feel like learning things that like you're not used to it just helps you to learn more in the future like it just opens your capabilities uh, just because you're trying something you're not used to so so it's really important to start this early because the earlier you start the better you're gonna get my problem i actually had this and kind of still have it i started off skating too much flat ground just because i got comfortable with it after i was learning tricks and i just kept going further with that um but you got to make sure you try to do other stuff because because of that when i went to the park or when i went to skate street i honestly couldn't do that much so i was a kid who can like double kick flip or like do all these other variations but couldn't kick flip a three stair or a four stair so it made it harder for me a little bit but it also gave me a little bit of advantage when trying tricks on smaller stair sets but i wish i started early on uh skating street and park that is one tip i really gotta take action on because that is something i messed up with when i was younger so definitely start early on learning a whole bunch of different tricks no matter how hard it is uh, you just want to start because you want to be like a better overall skater so just make sure you're well-rounded you just can skate flat ground street and park uh vert's kind of like optional but that'd be nice if you can skate vert because all i can do is just drop into a bowl and not even the deep part <laughs> all right guys and that's gonna wrap it up for the five tips that every beginner should know stay till the end if you want the bonus tips but make sure you follow all these tips and actually put them into action so if you're wondering hey sean i've already used all these tips and i already knew this well then that's good because you're on the way to becoming a better skater um, if you're not using them then this can kind of hinder you if you're somebody that's thinking sean i already used these tips and i am not getting better uh honestly you if you're using these tips you will get better but you just have to be patient that is like super important because you're not gonna get better at skateboarding just like just like that i mean sometimes it happens to some people but most of the time it's not going to be like that so you just have to be really patient and try to have fun with what you're doing so it makes that time more enjoyable so just be patient with it like i know it's super annoying i went through it and um, i'm at a point where i i'm satisfied with where i'm at so i'm like trying to push myself even further but i'm at a point where i can skate and i won't be too disappointed about if i'm not progressing or anything if you're saying you're putting these tips into practice and you've been trying for a long time, then I think you just like need to have a more positive outlook on it um, because if you keep a negative mindset, then it's gonna transfer to your skating. So make sure you try to stay positive. Honestly, a really good helpful tip is to stay with friends and skate with friends because honestly, those are gonna be the people that motivate you. Most of the hard tricks that I've landed is I've had my friends beside me supporting me to help me land that trick. So just try to skate with friends and just try to keep a positive mindset because if you're too negative, then it's gonna be harder to learn tricks or to progress. So before I get into the bonus tips, um, if you're about to leave, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I really hope this helped you guys. Uh, pick up some merch while you're at it. This hoodie. SB Apparel that I made that myself. I have a store. The link will be in the description. Um, if you buy a hoodie or anything off my site, you get a shout out on my Snapchat. And if you make unboxing videos with them, you get a YouTube shout out in one of my videos. So make sure you check that out if you want to. If you don't want to, that's completely fine. But I just want to let you guys know. Share this with friends if you think they need help with progressing or if this helped you and you just want to spread the word. Um, but otherwise than that, I'm gonna go over some of the bonus tips that uh, may be helpful for you. So if you're staying for the bonus tips, thanks so much for staying. The first bonus tip I have is to make sure you refresh your gear. What this means is if your board is chipping or if there's like too much razor tail, 
then swap it out if you can or see if you can borrow one from a friend. Um, you don't have to, but this is going to help because honestly, if your board is not the way you like it, then that's going to interfere with your skating. Like now, I'm actually about to set up some new wheels I got because I just flat spotted my recent wheels. I am telling you guys, Bones, STFs, and Spitfire Foam Fours are the way to go for wheels. Make sure you check out the links in the description. Ooh, so sad. Um, honestly, it just really sucks. It like vibrates every time that I ride, and um, I, it just makes an annoying sound, and that kind of messes with my skating. Uh, so I'm setting up some new wheels. So make sure you refresh your gear. This can also be with shoes as well. Um, if they're like really ripped up, then it's gonna be hard to skate with them if they're like flying off your foot or something. So try to replace it if you can. Um, I'll have options in the description. Uh, it should be like a little page. It's like an Amazon link. I'll have a link in the description that has some a list that I made for skate products and filming products uh, all on Amazon. So make sure you check out that link. But uh, yeah, I'll have some budget options that I found for you and then you can check that out if you want to. So another tip, I said it a little bit earlier when I was wrapping up the video, but is to make sure you're patient because honestly, some people, they watch trick tips and then they think they're gonna land it right after watching it. Um, Sometimes you can, but most of the time you're not, so you just have to be really patient when learning your tricks. It's gonna take time, especially when you're just starting off. So make sure you're really patient and you just keep pushing through because this is what determines if you're gonna be a better skater or not. Because a lot of people go through the beginner phase and it's a, it's a little bit too hard to learn, so they quit. So make sure you don't quit, or at least if you quit, come back to it. You can take breaks sometimes, but um, honestly just keep pushing yourself further and further because that's how you're gonna get better. So you just have to be really patient with it. Kind of sucks, but you're just gonna have to get used to it. Once you get to the intermediate phase, that's the most fun phase ever because you're just learning tricks like left and right and like so fast. And then you hit the advanced stage, and then you're gonna. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but it'll be a little bit easier to learn tricks just because you have a big set of tricks. All right, guys. So that's gonna wrap it up for my five tips. I hope it helps. Make sure you share this, like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. I gotta study for finals, so wish me luck, y'all. Otherwise than that. See you in the next video.